Hello and welcome to Zachary 3 TV and today we're going to be uh, trying to make number cards. So let me go ahead and boot up our diecast charve. So when you're making number cards your one-stop shop is definitely diecast charve. Now I said we're making number cards so if you're wanting number cards this is your one-stop shop. Big, uh, big kudos to them for all the work they do in making these uh, really nice number cards they make. Uh, let's just go to example like 2024 Cup Series. I got, uh, let's go here. Um, here's a random one. But yeah, he, he, decent number card there. You see the number. Uh, usually, yeah, see the number card. So their number cards are usually, so I'm going to just download this, open up in GIMP. So they're usually a one by one ratio in terms of size. See the scale, yes. So same size, 816 by 816. So for me, when I make number cards, I usually do like I, 816 by 816 is actually pretty good. So I'm gonna go off the diecast chart note here and do an 816 by 816 for making a number card. So when you want to make number cards based on real cars, it's relatively easy. You just you go to a uh, car, look up. Uh, let's say uh, I'll just put a random car so you can just go and find a car let's say Greg Biffle so you get that you find that's actually kind of hard so if you wanted to go into detail with this one you could try and um, you know finding that texture they have on that cheese it car or you just find that red base get a pretty close color to it if you can find an actual like color pick pick from that'd be better too that way you have a more accurate number card but that that would be a better way of doing it but i think uh, in this case specifically if you don't want to waste too much time on just do a simple color and since we're just doing a simple tutorial um i'm just gonna probably do one real car well maybe i think jai cast char would be dead real has made most number cards so uh for number cards you know, you got your own thing, but we're going to do a custom one based on maybe a scheme I've already made. So let's see what schemes do I got. You know, I did a live stream a couple weeks back of a Microsoft Edge car. So I actually have the file for it, but let's just pretend that, okay, we don't have a file for this car. We can't just copy the side of it. We, we can't just copy the side of it off and put it here. Let's just say we don't have this. So I have a render somewhere. I believe I have it saved in my render bin. I did not save it in my render bin. So let me go find it real quick. All right, got on my desktop now. I'm gonna right click, open with, or I can just open GIMP since I'm on Windows 11. I don't know was gonna be on the Windows 11, but you get to just, so screenshot from Marathon 3 of the car I made. Um, so I don't have, all I have is this. So, um, since I know the number font and you made, if you made the car in the number font, you can always just ask for the number font if you don't have access to who has the font, but number fonts is probably going to be your biggest thing when trying to get these. So I already have the font. I know it's the Tricon garage or not Tricon, but actually it might be Tricon. Uh, let me, let me look in my number bin should be number 11 tricon yep. and here we go got it so we got this credit to big evil racing for this number uh, you can get numbers off of big evil racing.com numbers just be sure to credit them um you should be able to find that i might link it in the description so usually since i have access to it um i would just color pick from here but let's just say we don't have access to it to the um, actual car texture. So we'll just roll with what we have. So we know that these are the Edge logos. So we'll also roll with that as well. So uh, I know the number is black with white outline. So I'm gonna change the outline to white, change the main color to black. And then I'm gonna, I mean, you can keep it a group if you want, but because I don't really need it to be a group, I'm gonna merge it. I'm going to merge our layer group, right click, merge layer group. And now, how do I get these colors? So based on that, I'm just going to go ahead and close this. That way I don't keep focusing on it. So 
we have these colors here and for you usually I do the side now you can do the roof that's up to you um, but just make sure your scale is um, one by one ratio unless you're using it for something specifically different like a point shear or something you made that has a little bit more wide or different width but you can edit the stuff parameters in your own way in that way um, really up to you in the width and size but general conception one by one ratio is your best bet so I'm gonna go ahead um, so I know the colors I would imagine they would be based on the Microsoft Edge logo say I didn't paint this but I did paint this so I'm biased but I do know I got these colors from the Microsoft Edge logo so I can just I'm gonna open that logo up um, hopefully they don't copyright strike me for this, but I mean, it is a Microsoft Edge computer anyway. What, what the heck they're going to do? My SVG files are the same icon, so it's going to be even harder to find this. Where did I put it? I put a Microsoft. Oh, I'm going to get, I, I better pause my recording. That way I don't get copyright strike. All right. So we have this logo and we have these colors. So I'm not going to go into too much depth. Obviously you're going to get some, well, I want to keep it kind of close. So I'm going to. I think get a lightish green, that lightish blue. So I think it's over here, and then I think the green's over here some. Or actually, no, I did get a little bit different green because I did the, the gradient was in all over all over the car, so probably somewhere around here. I like that better. All right. So sides there. I'm going to make a little path on our card here. I'm not gonna mess with the base color at the moment, but. Just kind of, kind of guess where it was size-wise. Doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, it could be perfect if you really wanted it to be, but the way I do it, I I don't really care if it's perfect or not. So a little bit of a curve, but since there's not a car, I don't think it's going to be very noticeable at all. So um, yeah, we'll keep this as is over a little bit too since the curve kind of was a little bit weird like that so a bit so a wee bit all right and then since this is a gradient i'm gonna go ahead and go to our path and i'm gonna go path to selection and i'm gonna just nope wrong path selected but Fix that. FG to BG looks great. Move it more. Wait, it's a little bit more realistic. This is possible. It's what I'm aiming for. So we have that now. So we have our design on the side. And now we're gonna go to our number. We're gonna. What I usually do is click it and drag. There's probably a better method for it, but I'm not using it. And I'm gonna change the width. Since it's eight. Uh, what was the size? It was eight sixteen by eight sixteen. I'm going to be a little bit respectable with parameters and do 756 of the width, 756 pixels of the width, or no, 7, 7, or, ah, yeah, we'll just do 775. Eh, I think I get a little more room, so we'll probably do like 700 for width. Because you want to have some room just in case. And... Really, it's so close to being that it's not very hard to make number cards. And now I think I got this color from somewhere in here. And change the back and eh, things a little bit darker. I think that's good. And boom, you have a number card, and you can export it and you know put it where you want to do use it for what you want to use and if you have like a bunch of these you can like make a little point sheet or something and whatever so if that works for you it works for you so let's do uh some based on a real car now just in case you know someone like, oh i make based on inner some three cars based on like some random driver that um everyone likes like uh i mean you could find textures and stuff do like this uh since i'm just doing a tutorial i'm not really worried about it um, let's do, let's do Tony Stewart's, uh, car. I'm going to use a, the Kenseth font though, cause, um, or, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to use the Kenseth font cause I have that already. So save me the trouble having to do anything for the sake of this tutorial and keeping it short. Don't want to keep it too long for y'all. 
just do another one just to keep your minds fresh. I'm gonna control duplicate control D duplicates the thing. Start fresh. I don't think we'll need these. Add a new layer just so it will have something. So I do have Home Depot logos as well. Again, due to copyright, I'm not gonna go through my logo, so I'm gonna go ahead and pause. Alright, not a thousand percent sure if this is the accurate color pick, but I'm gonna color pick this. It looks right. Uh, it looks pretty right to me. So keep that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my number queued up. And uh, again, credit to Big Evil Racing for all the work they do to get these numbers done. Heck, they even do number cards themselves. You can see they have a little background with their numbers they upload, and you could hack you heck probably use those. I mean, the ratio is not, you know, uh, one by one, but, you know, like I said, you can change stuff up for sheets, change the ratios or whatever, whatever fits for what you're wanting to use the cards for. So that's all that matters. All right. That pretty simple. Not going to do a whole lot. Um, I think the gray looks like crap on that number. So just because just for, just, I don't, like that so I'm not gonna do it uh, for that reason so we're just gonna pretend that's not a thing so our color is gonna be white for the base we're gonna do white and then we're gonna keep our orange I'm gonna find a gray color to do as an outline along with the black so for this um, they got an arc on the bottom they got a slight arc on the top so I'm gonna make a new layer to add a path doesn't have to be perfect then and then rotate this up some warped if I can gray and then I think yeah that looks about right if I were to guess and we're going to fill, and we got orange. So now we got a black outline and a gray outline. So because it's a stroke, it's a path, I like to stroke my paths, keeps the pixel rate down, and keeps the edges at more accurate too. Or I guess it don't really affect the pixels, but it keeps the edges more accurate, and I like doing that because I think it looks better, even though it probably doesn't look much different. I'm doing another layer just to be safe. You could usually maybe get away just putting it behind it, but since it strokes it, it'll also put it on top of the orange if you do it on the same layer. So I'm just doing it on another layer. Then stroke. Uh, I set 12. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, 12 is probably... Uh, yeah, uh, 12 is good. Now I did just notice that the stroke on the top line is smaller than the stroke on the bottom one on this Tony Stewart car. So it's just for the sake of, you know, learning, I'm going to do that. So... Control Z. I'm gonna duplicate this layer again. So I'm gonna use one layer for the. Well, actually, yeah, no, we're use one layer for one, one layer for the other. Granted, I'll just merge them after because they're both the same color. So first one we'll do probably just because I don't want the other one to look too small compared to the other one. I'll do 15 now for the big one, and then for small. All right, and then I'm gonna erase. Make sure my hardness is all good. Bring my size up. Probably an easier method for this, but I'm not using that, so we're gonna erase that. And now we're going to stroke, and we're gonna make this. Let's try seven, cut it in half. Uh, seven's a bit too small. Let's do ten. You still small, smaller, so we'll we'll roll with it. And you don't really need to erase on the other one since the other one's bigger anyway. So we're just gonna merge these, since no sense in having two different colors for the same thing. Or two different layers of the same color. And then gray is only on the bottom layer. So, uh, stroke path. Or, nope, gonna get another new layer for our gray. Move it below the black. Because be behind it. We're gonna find a pretty good gray. I think it's a decent dark like this. And then we're going to stroke. Or, not fill. Stroke. Then we'll do. Probably 20, because I think that one was a bit bigger. 20 is too small. Do like 30. Look, see how compared. And uh, I'm uh, still thinking bigger.
Right, then we will erase that top one since it's not accurate. And then put in our, we'll merge this. I don't need it to be the right size. Put this in, drop it, put it above the top. We did width as 775, so I think that's a safe bet for 816 by 816 templates. And I think this, I think this cooks me personally. So we'll roll with it. So because I do kind of want to keep it kind of consistent, I am going to add a strip to the bottom. Granted, it's not be perfect, but. No one's going to be looking at your number card like, oh, it's not perfect, and they're not meant to be. 10. 10 is great. We will do 10. And I'm going to add another layer just to be safe, because you never know if you want to get rid of that gray part or not. I'm just going to paintbrush since I don't want that top part gray. Or, did they top part that gray? No, they didn't. All right. And I think this is a pretty decent Tony Stewart number card, if you ask me. Um, One last scenario. So say you do have a, t a texture you want to use. Um, let's see, what's a what's a good one I could do? Uh, let's do... an O'Reilly's one. Say I have this one saved. I have this file saved. I have all the colors like right in front of me. I could color pick and be fine. Granted, with the NRs on three textures, you probably want to turn off some things but um i think you can color pick from the layer uh earth from the layer tab i don't know i guess you can't so you probably want to turn off shading and boom you got your colors for ncs22 specifically so i got all my colors right here in front of me or you know again copy off the logo colors because most of the time 99 percent of the time I want to say 99, 95% of the time they copy off the actual logo colors. If they don't, then that's stupid. Let's go ahead and close some of these. I don't want to get copy chart strike. Close this too. Don't need it no more. Close this as well. So for this, we're going to go ahead and control D again on our layers. 816 by 816. Just delete everything. We don't need none of it. We know our base is going to be black, white and black. It's pretty decent contrast from each other so we know our base is going to be black because the base is black so the green we're not probably going to be using much of but it'll be there so first I'm going to get our number number real quick so this number I found on the Gran Turismo decal search so I had to download that and so I don't really know who to credit this for but I did find it on the, uh, the Gran Turismo decal search so uh, base color Yellow, we're going to copy over here next to the wheel because there's no like shading or nothing over there. Probably not any shading on the car either, but I'm picky about that. All right, make sure our threshold and our paint bucket's good. Fill it in and really no other changes on the number. And I'm going to do alpha to selection and crop to content just to, or I guess crop to section. I could literally crop to content too, but. That would be way easier now I think about it. But I did not do that, so we'll have to roll with this. But that way I can keep a consistent size as we've done with the other two number cards as well. So we'll do that. So now I'm going to get our green since it's probably the easiest part. And I'm going to put it on that bottom edge. doesn't have to be... I'm not going to make it very much, but it's going to be something. All right. consistent actually because here then a new layer probably be more realistic I'd have to see on that green part after because it's hard to judge because it's such a small piece of it so for the red that's going to take a pretty decent chunk of it And for this, I'm just eyeballing where it should go. All right, and we got this. So.
I'm gonna server some. I think that's pretty good. And the yellow, um, pretty easy. I'm just going to move the path up, really. Then yellow. And I think that'll take up the general square area of what this template would be. So, yeah. If, if it helps you, you just add a selection square. If you're doing, like, based on a texture, you just kind of get an idea how much you're going to use. And, you know, next gens and all that are going to be different with the forward numbers and where the number placement is, but that's what I usually do. You can do something different if you want. Entirely creative freedom is 100% encouraged. Actually, I'm going to do new layer because if you, you can save these files too. Grant, I'm not going to do that because I already got a ton of files I got saved and it's going to pile up and I'm not going to use these. Actually, eh, I'm, I will use these for something else. So... Um, not liking the green now, so I'm just going to erase that, redo it, because it does not line up with the other stuff, so I'm going to redo it. Color back because I was not smart and I did not save it right, so I'm going to have to go to another thing. Use it more time than I should, but I will. Fill this. Uh, yeah, it looks good, so... Now, we last step, put in the number. Again, aspect ratio 816 by 816 fits better with 775 by whatever the height is, doesn't matter. And I think that was slaps, so... Other than that, I think we're good. And you can use these numbers, uh, export them, be sure to do that. Um, credit to all the, you know, people that need to be credited, but we got that, that, and that. And we got, like, three number cards made. And... And it took 20 minutes, but that's because it was a tutorial, so give me a break. But, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, there was also a tutorial made. I forget by who. I think it was... Um, let me check real quick. But yeah, there was a tutorial made by Luge YT on how to do it on Mac. Um, if you want to check that out. It's a little different method. Um, you can do it on the Macintosh computer. Uh, you can try that as well. But yeah, entirely just, you know, kind of use your creative freedom in a way, know your abilities and whatnot. But I showed you the three, you know, ways you can do it on a number card. You could do a number card just based on an image you see um, from a custom car. You could do it based on a real life car. You could do it based on a texture you got. It really neat, I think. And I think it'd be useful if you ever plan on doing anything for like point sheets or just, you know, custom graphics or heck, just have a number cards for people to have emojis in your discord whatever and uh i think that's really neat so um yeah other than that that is it be sure to like subscribe if you want to see more stuff i'll come up with something maybe and uh peace out